What's good, everybody? Um, I'm actually about to talk about uh, a recent diss thrown by Pusha T and one of his new songs. I'll have the link and all that information down below. Um, and and uh, basically, the end of the punchline says uh, how uh, Drake has questionable bars written for him and the feeling ain't real. And um, I want to talk about that particular bar because as we know, um, at the beginning of, of the Meek Mill and Drake drama, um, aside from uh, Charged Up, we know back to back. And we also know that that was the ending of it. Basically, everyone started clowning Meek, but he did, as Pusha T said, brought up a concern. Uh, we got a hip hop artist here who claims to be one of the best that his lyrics being written by him are in question. So that brings us to who's actually the best and what criteria is considered for the best. Um, are we looking for someone who delivers it and has it and just sounds good? Or, but, or are we actually looking at a person's catalog and we're looking at who they are, what they did, and whether or not that they're actually worth that time or worth that uh, acclaim? Um, I find it very interesting that he's ready to start drama with Meek. Um, now game's going at Meek, but Pusha T went at Lil Wayne and Drake ever since. And I've been listening to Pusha T since grinding and all that in high school. And I could tell you right now, if Drake took a lyrical battle with him, Pusha T would probably give him that work because Pusha T, that's his realm. Rapping, hip hop, that's his world. And I don't get how people are saying because Drake sings here and there that he's a pop star when if he picks up a microphone and he starts rapping and rhyming words, you're a rap artist. You're trying to be at least. He, um, when it comes to the content about how, you know, Meek may talk about bars with guns and stuff, and that may not be Drake, but he's still a rap artist. So in a battle, it's about artistry. You have two artists going at each other. Um, I don't get why Pusha T and Joe Buttons this didn't blow up because they were sick. They had some dope this. They have bars in there. You could literally slow down and listen to what they say each time. I mean, each punchline's uh, a hitting. And I just find it weird how the masses is just going with the pop star because it's popular and not listening to lyrics. I mean, the beat for Back to Back was fire. I think that's why it blew up, in my personal opinion. I didn't hear anything in there rhyme-wise to make me say, oh, this guy's a threat. If anything, when I heard him spit, the battle with me i was like man i was like this dude better not get into it with joe buttons or push a t really in the back of my head because i remember them coming at the whole um cash money organization at some point in time and to be honest i was shocked to hear meek mills rap how he did against him because the meek i know if meek was really taking it serious for real for real, i feel i've heard him battle and have way better bars against cassidy but that was cassidy so you already know when he dropped his thing, it was like, wow. So, I mean, this is something we need to look at with the game going forward. Are you willing to accept pop stars into the realm of hip hop and give them excuses for when, you know what I mean? They don't want to rap against certain people or when they're dodging certain people who are coming at their neck. Because I know if Drake was coming at Meek's neck or anyone else's neck, it'd be all over the place. Like, oh, he's coming at such such neck. He got to respond. So why isn't Drake forced to respond? Why can he just stack up? and respond when he wants and take L's when he wants. I don't understand that. I mean, if you're going to place yourself in a rap battle predicament and someone drops a track, you got to drop a track back. Like, it's not like, oh, I'll, I'll wait to respond to them. Like, if you're an MC, you're going to drop a track coming back at them or you're else you're going to figure out a problem if it's realer. I just don't understand how it works right now. So, I mean, you guys check out that Pusha T thing. That thing's dope. So I want to know what's going on and I want to know what Drake's actually going to do about it because no response, probably not going to be a response. And here we go with another scenario where, you know, a hip hop artist comes at him and like nothing happens. It's just dead silence. Joe Button's already kind of put put the nails in the coffin and push her T's like kicking the coffin down into the hole. It's like 
something needs to happen. I want to hear a response of some sort to either one of these MCs. These are dope MCs that are dropping quality bars on you. You got to stand up and say something and nobody's even putting the pressure on, which is crazy. I guess that that's what the media is for. And like, that's what they do. They protect certain people from receiving that heat. But I'm telling you, man, check that Pusha T thing out and also get around, re-listen to that Joe Budden disc. That thing was fire. I mean, I'm I'm glad to see the competition in hip hop. I would honestly like to see Kendrick Lamar get involved and throw some shots at Drake since these he didn't respond to these other MCs. You're going to have to respond. Kendrick's hot right now. See, you're going to have to respond to something, my friend. I mean, he can't just ride in, roll out on Meek, and then ride out like he's the best ever that ever did it. Like, come on. You, you're going to have to take some shots and roll with the punches and solidify your, your stance. The same way at that time Jay-Z did against Nas and all types of things. The same way these MCs in the past stood against their opponent. I think he should stand against his opponent, you know, but check that Pusha T thing out, man. All rights reserved.